Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name is Matthew Kidman, and today we have two young guns of the market, Simon Benouvrier from Cadence Capital and Chris Dott from Wilson Asset Management. Welcome, gentlemen. An issue that regularly comes up is how good is management and how important is it to the individual companies. And recently, we've seen a few companies change management by surprise, one of which was Ardent Leisure, which saw the previous managing director um, depart and the stock fall about 20%. So Chris, how important is management and it is, is it an opportunity to reassess the stock? Look, management are critical in our opinion, Matthew, particularly in that smaller mid-cap end of the market where a lot of it is you're backing the, the CEO to really deliver results for you. In the instance of Ardent, that was really a, uh, a large shock in the sense that the, the company, uh, in hindsight, could have pot potentially communicated more with the market around succession planning. And that really lacked in the, so the surprise scenario where you know Greg um, uh, was uh, swapped out for the new CEO, uh, really caused volatility with that share price. So we're looking at, when we do speak to companies, we are looking for that clarity on succession planning, which we just didn't have with Ardent Leisure. And what's wrong with a new CEO coming in and putting their own kind of fresh ideas into place? Nothing at all. It can be a really big positive for the stock. And when you're looking for turnaround stories, Ardent's not a turnaround story, but when you are looking for companies that may have had a tough few years, a new CEO is just the uh, the uh, ammunition you need to take another look at the stock and, and can really present some strong outperformance for you in the, in the right typical scenarios. So I'm at Maya was another one where Bernie Brooks departed, the stock was down uh, fairly savagely on that day, not as much as Arden. Um, just a, a, another example of how the market reacts, do you see a change at the top end of management in a company that critical or does the market overreact? Look, I think CEOs are like sportsmen, they like to get out on top or they're, they're, they're if they don't leave themselves, they're normally pushed. So you've seen with Maya, it's had a, several years of earnings decline and there's more earnings risk to come in my opinion. So with Maya, I'd be very cautious with the change in management. So a change in management where we had two senior managers go at once, sometime is a red flag to so say the business isn't going quite as well? So that's, that's, right, that, that's right. Maya are actually due to report this week and uh, wouldn't be surprised uh, if they announce um, a new guidance, which is to the downside. And do you use a... Uh, change of management as uh, an opportunity to look at a stock again? I think so. I mean, I look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. I mean, I can give you several examples of where management changed. Um, a new CEO came in and implemented a strategic review and then we found out, you know, there's, there was um, earnings risk, for beforehand. example, <laughs> yeah, beforehand, like Coca-Cola, Amatol. Um, Alison Watkins came, Watkins came in and uh, she implemented a strategic review and the stock's probably down like 20 or 30 percent she, since she's come in. Uh, Metcash is another one. Andrew Reitzer was a long-standing CEO and the stock's down, I think it's more than halved since he's left. So a new CEO, it often, I'd say the probability is more often than not, um, it signals earnings risk to come. There you go. We've got some mixed views on a change of CEO at the top of companies.